Hey everybody, this is my new water shader built for KMaker Studio 2. The source code will be linked in the video description so you can play around with this yourself. In this example, we're running on 24 million vertices. If I go in wireframe mode, you can see just how many there are. The vertices don't just move up and down, but they also move side to side, and that gives it a more defined shape. The reflections are based off of Fresnel reflections, which is just a fancy way of saying when you look face, face on, it doesn't reflect as much. But if you look at an angle, it reflects more. This is more apparent when you switch the background. The watercolor didn't change at all, but it totally looks different because of the different skybox. Here's a night nice scene. I think this one looks particularly good. You can see the buildings reflecting on the water. Something that's a little harder to notice, one end of the water is a lot more still. The water doesn't move as much. Over here, it's a lot more calm. And then over here on this end, it moves a lot more. You can control this completely independently. You can control it individually by each vertex if you want. In this case, I just decided to have one end calmer and the other end move more. All right, now I'm gonna change the code. So I'm gonna cut down the, the water grid size a little bit so that it compiles faster. Then I'm going to enable the flat normals. And that gives it a low polygon look. Just uncomment a couple lines and that, that should do it. There, this is a low polygon look. Looks really good on some backgrounds. All right, now I'm gonna go back to the normal normals and I'm going to change the watercolor just to show what that looks like. So I'm gonna hard code my own value in. We'll just get rid of that. And I'm going to put all black. So now if we run it, we should get all black water. You can see how much of a difference that actually makes. It looks like ink or something. So now let's try something else. We have a distortion uh, constant over here. All of these are adjustable. This is a speed wave scale, distortion, a bunch of other stuff. But there's a little trick that you can do. If you negate the distortion or do the negative version, it will actually, instead of making the waves sharper, it will actually make the waves rounder. So I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna change the color and make it like a greenish yellow. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna change the Fresnel exponent. Let's try 0.1. That'll make it a little bit less reflective as well. And just like that, I made green slime or yellow slime. <laughs> so there's all sorts of different effects that you can make with this shader, but um, I'll let you guys play around with that more on your own time. In the future, I want to look into adding sea foam and shorelines, but for now, this is good enough. Thanks for watching. See you next time.